This is Brian Zing. Uh, the uh, the plaques behind my my uh, background is all the plaque. Uh, only a small portion of the plaques I uh, made out from my uh, utility pattern from the uh, uh, U.S. Pattern Trademark Office. By looking this pattern, I have mixed feeling. One is I'm very happy, very proud to have all these patterns and uh, via the, uh, a, my lawyer, through my lawyer, uh, through uh, the years of uh, innovation, creativity, create concept and create uh, the design and apply for the U.S. pattern. I got them. I uh, approximately I own almost two hundred different U.S. patterns. Ninety percent of them are utility pattern. Ten percent or other percentage are a uh, design pattern or mathematical pattern. And some of them, uh, some of them even are uh, uh, the pattern from Australia, Europe. Uh, but I do have a sad story to, to tell you. Uh, I When I filed pattern about the pop-up tent, and I did work with the uh, manufacturer over in China, Hong Kong at the time, because I was so trustworthy to all those people, so I was giving every information about design pattern, and tell the factory to make the product for me. The factory owner or the factory guy or the guy liaison in Hong Kong uh, doing the liaison to bridge me with the factory actually sneak around and took my idea, took my copy of US pattern, sneak to uh, England. UK apply for UK pattern under my exact pattern and until I got the uh, the US pattern proof I have I do have I did I did have a one year 12 months period after the approval of US pattern I can apply for international so when I took the uh, idea and the US pattern went to UK to apply for pattern people uh, I, I, uh, I just learned someone took my idea my US pattern filed under different filed the pattern under different name so I lost a chance uh, the chance it's because a sneaky liaison for manufacturer at the time he is located in Hong Kong and ironically enough he's not poor man he had some money but he's living in Hong Kong government homeless uh, shelter program uh, living in a very nice apartment under the Hong Kong government uh, under the the benefit of uh, social uh, whatever uh, program uh, with uh, 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 at that time it's still uh, Hong Kong before 97 before 1997 so he lived in the apartment under a so-called it's living in a free uh, apartment offered by the Hong Kong government for the people who is poor but he's not so that tells you how sneaky this guy is so I lost the opportunity to file patent in UK so therefore uh, the UK there's a company called Words Apart it's also pretty sneaky play around and have a license or agreement with this person and then selling every knockoff playhead item in UK market. I have to go to, through a much expensive legal battle to try to fight. But unfortunately, um, that is something I can never win in UK market for pattern protection just because somebody sneak around and file the pattern while I was working with the US 
patent trademark bureau and try to process my patent application. How sad, <laughs> but uh, that's listen to learn. But that it's uh, Brian Zing. I'm not here to give you every, everything as a glory, every story as a good story. There's a lot of sad story by uh, running a business, by execute your protection of idea, even though you had the U.S. Uh, pattern during that process. Be very, very careful not to let people know your idea that much. Actually, pattern pending is the uh, the period of time you process your patent application. This is a golden time for you not to let go your information at the same time. You can start building your prototype, but be careful whom you, par whom you partner with as a manufacturer. That is the biggest mistake I made for patent application for international patent application. Thank you.